How about this? It's done, finished. My new van system. How amazing does it look? I am over the moon with it, I have to say. The guys here have been really good, really helpful Thank at you. helping me build it just how I want it, just how I need it for my business. So I really appreciate the effort that everyone's gone to. It's been absolutely fantastic. It's been a pleasure. It's been nice having you here. And Ziggy's just going to talk me through it. Uh, what's here, how it works. Yeah. So we've gone with the Smart Tank 650. So to begin with, we've stripped all your old ply out, what was in here before. Yep. Because it was, seemed like a builder's van or something before, so it was quite dirty, quite grotty. Stripped all that out, cleaned the floor, sanded the floor down, and it's gone in the Linux flooring. I love this, this is so... Absolutely hard wearing as well. Tough, it, isn't it? It won't yeah. wear away like some other bed liners. This will be here for the life of your van, I would imagine, so you wouldn't have to worry about ever touching it up. Fantastic. It's gone for Smart Tank 650 RODI, so it purifies the water on the vehicle. If you just put the camera down there, actually, you'll see the, the van ports. You've got your water in, your water out. This is your wastewater, so you run a line from this to your drain. Then you've got your pump one, pump two. Just in case you ever want to use reels externally, we've got the fixed reels in the van. Yeah. But for example, if you went to an area where you would rather keep the doors shut or you're working far away from the van, you could just hook up a, a reel to one of these ports and work externally. So it makes it really flexible. I've got that option yeah. to use the fixed reels probably most of the time, but if I want to use the separate reel yeah, that way. Do, no at all. That's great. Um, so 650 litre smart tank, full RODI. I'll just show you where the membrane sits in this. Under here you've got your 4040 membrane. Fantastic. So how often does that need changing? Depending on your water and sort of conditions, um, 18 months, two years, sort of around around that sort of time okay. frame. So not too often? Not too often, no. Uh, under here you've got your leisure batteries, two leisure batteries. <clears throat> it's got the split charge relay as well, so it charges as you drive. Great thing about the split charger is it will never drain my van's battery. Exactly right, yeah. But it makes sure these are charged as well sure. off the same system. And they're it? larger leisure batteries as well, so you never have to worry about them, really. You never have to worry about starting up your vehicle. Brilliant. It, they will last you a day's work, two days' work, if, even with the van off, so nothing to worry about there. Everything's sort of hidden under the cabinet on the smart tank. Wow. You've got your pre-filters here. Yep. Sort of recommend changing these every three months, 12 weeks. And these are dead cheap, aren't they? Then? Yeah, so you're looking £22, £23 for a set. Look after these, look after your membrane. Okay. Neglect these and neglect your membrane. So okay. always sort of get yourself into a routine of changing those sort of 12 weeks. Both your pumps here, pump one, pump two fuses and everything is accessible, you've got your DI vessel here, yep. you've got your probes for the TDS meter. Just so it monitors the TDS before the <coughs> resin? After, after the membrane, before the resin, after the resin. So if I just pull this back up, that will tell you what your TDS reading is going in to the DI vessel. That will tell you what your TDS reading is coming out the DI vessel. So as soon as that starts creeping up, you know you need to change the resin on here. And it's just loose resin. Just loose, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So a nice simple change on that. And this little chrome fitting on here, sure. what's that? That adjusts the, the membrane flow. So when you want to flush a membrane, recommend doing it every sort of feel really, or every couple of feels. Completely flush a membrane for 10 minutes. Or to flush a membrane, completely wind this out. Yeah. Put your garden hose in or your outdoor tap yeah. and let that flow. 10 15 minutes that's going to flush the membrane. How through. often should I do that? Try and do it every day if you can. Yep. Uh, every couple of days is also fine. Then screw so it. So that flushes through, through any flushes impurities, exactly doesn't right. it? Yeah. Screw that fully in and then one, two, two and a half turns. That should be the perfect ratio now for you to be getting your pure water and your wastewater. So you should be on about 30 to 70. So 70% waste, 30% pure. Yep. Hold the up and down arrow for three or four seconds, that sets it to fill. That lets the solenoid know that it's on fill mode. That will open up the flow on this port. It can fill away, then it will shut off automatically once the tank's full. Okay. And it's electronic shut off, not done by a, a ball valve. 
so much more reliable. So when the tank's full up, it'll automatically shut it'll off? Automatically shut the water off, yeah. That's good to know. You need to make sure you so I can fill it, it overnight? Fill it overnight, yeah. Put, put the tap on there, go to bed and forget about it. In the morning it'll be done, ready to go. Yeah. Awesome. The, the reels? Things. Yeah, we've gone for the, the fixed reels and the runners. These look really plush. I'm really impressed with these. Really look solid set of reels. Yeah, no, really nice reels. Uh, we've put the runners on here as well, just to stop the, the hose sliding on the doors or sort of on the, on the pillars here. Brilliant, looks awesome. And I love the little locking like, mechanism if, as if well. If needed, you might not necessarily if need needed, that but locking mechanism. Um, this isn't gonna go backwards, obviously. Uh, it's not gonna come out too far when you're driving. So I've got two sets of 100 meter, 100 meter high-vis high hose. Yeah. Six mil. We do two types of storage racking. We do the racking that goes across the roof, which is the IPR5. Okay. We do the racking that goes on the side, which is IPR4. After a discussion with you and sort of getting to know your needs, as much as I wanted to put the IPR5s in, we've yep. opted for the IPR4s to accommodate the, the shelving at the back. In <coughs> it's just going to work better for you so, than what we established. Yeah, I mean, that's the fantastic thing that you're able to understand my needs and yeah. adjust the fit out according exactly to that right, yeah. which and that's why we like the fantastic. customer here sometimes through the process because as we're putting these systems together the customer can make minor changes sort of as the build comes together because it's, it's not until sometimes halfway through you start getting ideas even if the customer can't be here on the premises yeah i've been here and i've been a pest and i've been sure. no, pestering been you <laughs> but the customer sometimes you can send them photos as the um, um, fit out progresses definitely right i have customers come down from further afield or they might get the vehicle delivered to us and what i'll offer to do is just through the build process just take a picture send it to them so they can see the progress of the build going on as it happens yeah. um, then halfway through they might when, when they see the, the build come together, they might get ideas and might want to make minor changes, which, you know, is not a problem at all. So that's fantastic for me because I was really concerned about trying to maximise exactly the space right, that yeah. I've got and um, I'm really pleased with the result. And this we... is a perfect example because, you know, we, we completely went for the IPR5s to go across and it wasn't until halfway through we both looked at it and decided actually the IPR4 is going to work better for you. If we go around the side, we have a look plywood is waterproof and 18 mil thick so you can screw into that no problem so if you want to put baskets in there any other trays adaptions you can screw into this and this is really hard wearing very hard wearing yeah i'm able to put my pressure washer up here or anything else on top yeah so it's rated for 250 kg okay it's a good example now to show you why we didn't go for the ipr fives the pole racks that go across because that would have sat just here and as you said you want to lift your pressure washer up into here occasionally it would have knocked the, the IPR5 pole rack where these racks are on the side they're out, out the way and it's given us space to put this vanguard storage system in that yeah here. and as we saw in my old van I got lots of uh, yeah, different got, bits and pieces <laughs> I need to store bits and pieces so I'm really, I'll have to have a clear out yeah but I've got somewhere to store bits and pieces as well so I'm and we've got a bit of space under here as yeah, well stuff under there, no and under here we've got access to the tank as well yeah just lift this up if you want to check your, your fuel level you can just have a look in there very rare you ever need to do that unless you're filling it up from for example say you, you use the spotless water so you would just undo that put the spotless water straight into there so that's fantastic i can't wait to get it home and uh <laughs> i need to put it to work don't i exactly right good stuff so thanks for showing me showing no me around problem. absolute pleasure been good having you here as well thanks for looking after me hopefully the van looks after you now yeah <laughs>